Players are still trying to uncover everything about Estronier's latest update. If you don't know, the Verdant update introduced the new Tepper as well as 5 new types of tappable plants. Today I'm here to shed some light on the limitations of this update, so let's dive straight into it. I want to focus on the one thing that everyone has been talking about for the past 2 weeks. Is it possible to build a truly infinite scrap farm using the new Tepper? Well, the answer is more complicated than you might think. I've spent countless hours trying to figure this out, so here's how my journey went. First I tried looking at glow sticks, since someone left a comment about them on another one of my videos about the update. And it all sounds good, you use organic to craft glow sticks and then you shred the glow sticks, right? That should be infinite scrap right there. And here's where the problem comes in. Theoretically you can get infinite scrap by just crafting glow sticks. The problem is you cannot automate this process. Since glow sticks can only be crafted in the backpack, you will have to constantly press the button to craft them. This means that yes, you can theoretically get infinite scrap, but you cannot build an infinite scrap farm that's automated. So I decided to go even deeper and I checked the Estropedia. Here I looked at every single thing that you can craft using organic or carbon. So let's see if any of these can help us. First of all, I looked at rubber. You can use this, along with plastic, to craft the medium buggy horn. That sounds good, so I was thinking we would do a rubber farm and a plastic farm, which we've discussed last week. They are actually pretty easy to build using the tappers and you just need a couple auto extractors. So we would then get rubber, plastic, we will throw them into another platform where we craft the medium buggy horns and then we shred those. Sounds simple, right? That should be infinite scrap. But there's one problem. The medium printer crafts it packed and you cannot shred something that's packed. That means you need to unpack it before shredding. Okay, so I thought to myself I'll just use some proximity repeaters and that will automatically open up the packs so that you could have unpacked medium buggy horns, right? So you just use that sensor, you have them unpacked. But then the next problem came in. You still need to manually put them into the shredder because the auto arms cannot grab a tier 2 item. They can only grab small items. So that also kind of works, but it cannot be fully automated. You can get a ton of medium buggy horns, but you will have to manually feed them into a shredder. And this sounds way more complicated than just crafting glow sticks. So I decided to go even deeper. I looked at plastic, which still has the same problems. You can theoretically craft the holographic figurine, and I think you can scrap that. But you will need to craft it in the backpack printer, so we are back to the glow stick problem. And the problem with all of the other materials that you can craft using plastic is that they are way too big, so the auto arms wouldn't be able to grab it. So we are back to our buggy horn problem from earlier. Alright, so rubber won't work, plastic won't work. Let's take a look at tungsten carbide. This looks promising at first, but then when you notice it, you will need the backpack for the drill mode 2, so that's out of the question. And then the drill strength 1 and 2 are way too big for the auto arms to grab, and they come back so you can shred them in that state. The other things that you can craft with tungsten carbide are obviously way too big. So again, you would get infinite scrap, but you would have to manually feed them into the shredder. However, there is a tungsten scrap farm that you can build, and we are gonna do that on the channel probably in the next couple of weeks, and that would be a scrap farm where you use tungsten in order to get scrap. Without needing any soil, all you basically need is power and a couple auto extractors and a train. But yeah, we'll talk about that in the next weeks. Now let's keep on delving even deeper. There has to be something that allows us to build a tepper scrap farm. So obviously the next stop was explosive powder. Using this you can craft either dynamite or fireworks. One of these has to work, right? First of all, I tried fireworks. These cannot be shredded. For whatever reason, you cannot place them into a shredder. So there you go, that's not usable. So then I tried dynamite, and let's just say you do get some debris which is shreddable, but you use your shredder, so that's not a good deal. By the way, don't stick dynamite into your... <laughs> By the way, don't stick dynamite into your shredder, that's no good. Okay, so what's our last resort? It has to be steel. With steel you can craft the probe scanner, but it's in the backpack, so again, you can do that, but you can't automate it. And then the hydrazine thruster comes packed, and when it's unpacked, it's way too big for the auto arms to grab. Other items are way too big. The only other thing that could work is crafting nanocarbon alloy using steel, titanium alloy, and helium, and then crafting portable oxygenators with a nanocarbon alloy, and then shredding those. Obviously, there's a lot of problems with this process. It stops being infinite when you need both steel and titanium alloy, and of course, you can only only craft the portable oxygenators in the backpack, so that wouldn't work anyway. But yeah, I've exhausted all my options. So is it decided? Can you get infinite scrap if you constantly sit there pressing a button in your backpack but you can't get it from an automated farm? This doesn't sit right with me. So let's look at a couple ways we can fix this. When the Verdant update came out, we also got some teaser images for the next update. There's gonna be another update in the summer called Glitch Walker, and then another big expansion coming towards the latter part of the year. So I've come up with four ways that this scrap farm could actually work. The first one is larger auto arms. 
and hear me out because this is a real possibility we might be able to do this later this year. In the blog post about the Verdant update we got two teaser images and the first one shows a really huge platform with a large canister on it. It's an extra extra large canister, it's huge and everyone just assumed that this is just a bigger canister that can fit more items in it. But now I'm thinking what if it's actually a bigger canister because it can fit bigger items instead of fitting more items. So maybe this means that we can now go with automation into tier 2 items and that would allow us to get the medium buggy horns in order to get infinite scrap. Since the platform is way bigger than anything we have and the canister is also way bigger than any other canister in Astroneer, who's to say there won't be bigger auto arms that could grab tier 2 items? Honestly, after seeing all the trouble you have to go through to get infinite scrap with the tappers, I really think they're just teasing us with this and that towards the summer we will get bigger auto arms and we will be able to get this infinite scrap farm going. Now the second thing I've been thinking about could be conveyor belts and I know people have been throwing this idea around in Estronier for a long time and it seemed to never come but now's the best time for it. Imagine you can put even extra large items on a conveyor belt and you can take them across the planet. This could be a good extension to the train system where basically you can use the train as a conveyor belt but you can't get something off the train and into a shredder for example, you can just transport it somewhere. But with conveyor belts that could all change. Now the third thing would be a special type of shredder that could shred packed items. This is a little bit more weird so I don't know if we will actually get this but it would be a nice idea. And then the fourth and last thing which is also the easiest to do and I don't know if they are gonna do it but we could basically simply get a new item that can be crafted using organic or carbon that's a tier one item and that can be crafted in the small shredder not in the backpack so they've been doing this for a long time they've been moving things from the backpack printer into the small printer as well so that you can craft them in both printers just take a look at the work lights you can also craft them in the backpack but you can also craft them in the small printer now what if they did that with glow sticks or a new item that's introduced and that's in both printers? That would allow us to build a simple infinite scrap farm using the new tappers and their infinite organic potential. So yeah, I wanna hear your thoughts about this so let me know down in the comment section below and if you don't know we've started a brand new series on the channel so go watch that playlist next or if you're not feeling like it then go watch this other video. Whichever one you choose, I'll see you there. Cheers Astroneers!